Hey BGIs, have you ever wondered, is it possible to become someone else just like in the films Avatar? Well, I'm gonna show you that it's not just the big studios that can do this now, and in a few years, everyone will be able to do it. If you have an interest in how film and games are developed, then you will love our Patreon page where I have loads of behind the scenes on the technology and hardware I'm using to create our Bubblegum Monsters game. Not only will you learn a ton, but you'll also be supporting this channel and the game. The first thing I need to be able to do is track my body. And to do that, I'm gonna need a motion capture suit. However, it's getting to the point now that you don't actually need a suit. There are AI tools that can do it for you. So if you want me to review one of these tools, let me know in the comments. Okay, so to put on the motion capture suit, I have to put these like Velcro kind of strap things. It's all a little bit awkward. Not the most pleasant thing to wear, but you'll see what I mean in a sec. Okay, this goes on the body. Like I say, not the most pleasant thing to wear. Okay, so check this out. We've got our mocap. Each one of these goes on a body joint so that it can detect movement. We've got a head camera, so that will be able to use my phone to track my facial features. And we also have a computer over here to record it all. Each one of these trackers represents part of the body. So these are shoulders, upper arms, lower arms, hands, upper legs, lower legs, feet, and then head, upper, sh upper back, and lower back. Let's put them on. Okay, there we go. I'm all trommed up and uh, ready to go. Right, well you probably see a difference in the audio as well because I've just changed mics. The next thing to do is to basically tell the computer that I've got all of this stuff on and in what position it is. So I've got to basically calibrate myself now. Just thought I'm going to do facial capture with this as well, so I'm going to need this to be on here. I've also got these gloves to wear and they will track my fingers so we all know exactly where my hands and fingers are. Turn that on. The next set was the facial capture setup and as you can see here I'm sort of just trying it out. This is the view from my iPhone that's attached to my head. Um, unfortunately I didn't capture the whole thing so this is the only time you'll see it but it just gives you an idea of what the phone is seeing and how it applies it to the animation. So then it's a case of calibrating the sensors so they know where they are on my body which is basically just a series of poses that you have to hold while it works that out. I am too sexy for my body. Too sexy for my t-shirt. No, no, no. It's very hard to do this stuff on your own, I've got to say. Ah, we are. Okay, and the reason why it's looking a bit basic is because I've set it to its most basic form so that it can run quickly because I've got OBS running, I've got re the screen recorder in the background running as well. Hello, my name is Sir Ian McKellen. And I'd just like to thank Bubblegum Monsters for letting me lend my voice to this character. I do, not it? So I've recorded the motion capture onto this particular character, but the great thing about this software, iClone, is you can then use that animation onto any character you want. So I've put it onto Charlie, one of the characters that we're having in the Bubblegum Monsters game. Hello, my name is Sir Ian McKellen. And I'd just like to give a big thank you to Bubblegum Monsters for allowing me to lend my voice to this character. So that's the mocap done, but as you may have noticed, my acting, although brilliant, <laughs> wasn't quite up to scratch as Sir Ian McKellen didn't quite sound like him. So I thought, why not use some of these new AI tools that are coming out? And there's been this one that people have been talking about called Voice. Dot AI, which has on its website a lot of different famous people and it does have Sir Ian McKellen so I thought why don't I try that and see what it sounds like. So I did. Um, I think it's pretty good, it's still not perfect but uh, take a listen and tell me what you guys think. Hello, my name is Sir Ian McKellen and I'd just like to give a big thank you to Bubblegum Monsters for allowing me to lend my voice to this character. I hope you enjoyed that little insight into how I do the motion capture and then for the future as well with all the AI and changing our voices and how that can really help indie developers be able to create these new characters using the tools 
that AI has given us. Um, I know it's not perfect, the lip sync wasn't quite right, although there is some tools within the iClone software that actually can improve that, that I didn't even try. And they're always improving as well. So I will be looking into many other ways of creating these digital characters in the future. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not. And also we'd love to see you over on Patreon as well, where not only will you get lots of behind the scenes on the game, just like this video, but you'll also be supporting the channel and contributing towards the game. If I see your face again, son, I'm gonna hang it on my wall. You're getting a little bit lippy for your own good. Maybe I should take them off you. I've been doing this job, son, since your mum has been wiping your body bot. Since your mama has been wiping the dirty dirt from your bottom. Don't know about that one. <laughs> you listen here, son. I've been cleaning up these sort of messes. You listen here, son. I've been clearing up these sort of messes before your mummy was even clearing up your little messes. <laughs>